Welcome to Pew TV Network, the platform where your purpose matters. Hi, I'm Vivian Phillips, the founder and host. You might also know me as Ms. Black Arizona 1987, or more recently, the Queen of Destiny. In this video, I will answer who will be the next president of the United States. But let's pray first. Father God, I thank you for the privilege and the opportunity to speak to your people. I thank you, O oh God, and I decree a hedge protection around every word that I say and everyone who's connected to this assignment, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. I declare and decree victory according to your kingdom and your word. Amen. All right. So today for me is the manifestation of Ecclesiastes 3.1, which says, For everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. God has been preparing me for this season for over 20 years, but I am not alone. This is an appointed time for many of you, so stay the course because things are changing faster than you know. Also, do not minimize what is happening right now as a coincidence because there is no such thing in the kingdom of God. Where we stand in this moment is historic and unprecedented, and it is just the beginning. As a licensed minister and chaplain, I am humbled by what is happening by prophetic revelation again. Before I say what what he showed me, let me share first how God cultivates this revelation in me. I teach those I train that God works with our spiritual gifts in a very unique way and that you must learn how he works through you to walk in the fullness of your potential and your purpose. Now let's get into this. The first time he showed me who would be president, I was shocked. <laughs> it was preceded by a dream. The dream was something completely different, but it was connected to the White House. Eventually, I shared what he showed me with the spiritual leaders where I fellowshiped. Unfortunately, they did not believe me, and neither did they honor or vet the prophetic gift God has given me. When what I said happened, just as I said it would, they ignored the prophetic privilege I had been given at the highest level of this nation. The second time God showed me who would be the next president of the United States, once again, I shared the revelation with the spiritual leader in the family of God. This person was not at my church, who also disregarded what I was saying. Each time, I had to double down on what God was showing me only because it was going against what the people I was telling believed. The second time, I had also had another dream about the White House. Again, it just happened, it happened just as I said it would, and they too were shocked and refused to acknowledge what God had shown me. Now, let's be clear. I do not need their validation. However, as spiritual leaders, we have a responsibility to humble ourselves to the truth no matter where it comes from. God is no respecter of persons and he uses whomever he chooses. Finally, and this part is really important, what God showed me does not automatically mean what we understand as endorsement. Endorsement means approval of someone or something. What God does is a point, and there is a difference. I am not saying this is an endorsement. God did not tell me that part. What I am saying is this is who God showed me will be the next president of the United States. Now, in closing, after consulting with my spiritual counsel, engaging my intercessors, and releasing this as an act of radical obedience, I, Vivian Phillips, servant of the Most High God, 
founder and host of Pew TV Network and author of Revival in the Pews, believes through prophetic revelation that the 47th president of the United States of America will be Kamala Harris, vice president, our current vice president. Stay tuned. There's more to come. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We welcome your comments.